Hello everyone and welcome to the second video of my Python Basics tutorial series. If you haven't seen the first video in the series, then go and check it out, the playlist link is in the description. Today we'll be learning about variables in Python. Now what is a variable? Well you can think of variables as a container that holds different data values, whether it might be a string, which is text, integers, which is a whole number, or floats, which are numbers with a decimal. Uh, what's the point of them? Well, they can be used multiple times throughout a program instead of typing out the same value a ton of times in different parts of a program. Okay, so let's get on to programming. What we want to do is open up idle. I have my idle a bit bigger just so you can guys can see it easier. You want to go to file, new file. I could just hit control N uh, and there we go. So what do we want to do now? We can do x equals nice variable. Now this is a variable. And then what we can do is y equals, I don't know, let's just say random number 21. So these here are variables. And what we can do now is we can use what we learned in the last tutorial, printing. So we can type print and let's print x. Notice how we do not have speech marks around the x, as if, if we did have speech marks around the x, this is what would happen. If we save it, just save it somewhere. Um, if we did have um, speech marks around the x, if we go to run, run module, which runs the program, we just get, the, it just prints out the letter x, which we don't want, so what we can do is we can remove these speech marks and then we get nice variable. What it's doing here is it's saying print x and it's looking for x because it's not got the speech marks, it's looking for the variable x which it has seen up here. So it's like oh x is nice variable so let's print out nice variable as we can see here. So how about now we do print y, save it, run, run module or just hit f5, your choice, we get nice variable and then 21 because y equals 21, printing y and y is 21, so it prints out y. So how about now we do print hello and that will just print out the two variables and hello. But what we can do is hello, and then after after the speech marks, comma, x. Now let's see what this will do. Hello, nice variable. So what it's doing here is it's printing out hello, just as we learned in the last episode. And then it's saying, let's also print out x, which is nice variable. Run it hello nice variable because the comma what it does is it sort of adds it together what we can also do instead of a comma we can do print hey we can do plus x and then close it off run it hey nice variable as you can see there's actually no space and that is because a comma produces a space in between, whereas plus produces no space, it just shoves it right together. So if we did want to use a space, what we could do is we could just put a space between hey and the closing speech marks, and that would print out a space. So how we actually write a variable is we write the name of the variable, which is it in our case is x. Um, then we follow it up with an equals which says like x equals the variable. It assigns the data to the variable and then after the equals we write what data we want, whether that's a integer or a string. And to have a variable as a string you need to have speech marks around it which indicates that it is a string, which is text. A string is text. Uh, so x is a string variable. Uh, if we want an integer or a float, we can just have the number itself without any speech marks. So now for some challenges to do by yourself. 
I will be giving the solutions in a later video. Make program that prints out a variable, whether it be a string, an integer, or a float. And then secondly, make a program that prints out two variables that are strings in the same print function. And then make a program that adds together an integer and a variable that is an integer. So that's all for today guys, make sure to stay tuned for the next tutorial by subscribing and hitting the bell. Also drop a like if this helped you out, it helps me out a lot. If you have any questions about the Python or need some help with any errors, be sure to leave it in the comments section below. I'll be sure to help you out. Any suggestions or feedback would also be greatly appreciated because this is my first few videos that I'm doing. And thanks for watching.